This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and this is a desktop PC. Woohoo, right? <laughs> Welcome to 2024. So, ports on the back, ventilation on the sides, power button on the front, a classy looking little chassis here. This is a Gadas Mine, a company that you may never have heard of, but they actually are an established maker of single board PCs. Think of like Raspberry Pi kind of thing. They do stuff at the higher end in terms of quality and all that. And they started this on Kickstarter, and we waited till it was actually really productized before doing our review of it, not that I didn't think it was ever going to ship because they're a reputable companies. Sometimes reputable companies use Kickstarter just to get some interest in a product, but you can actually buy it now starting at $7.99. It makes an Intel NUC look kind of big and chubby, and it's like not much bigger than a big smartphone. We're going to look at it now. And now a shout out to our sponsor, Trend Micro's Premium Security Suite. So now you've blown your budget, right? Buying all these holiday gifts. You still have to have money left over for antivirus, for a password manager, for a VPN. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, Trend Micro's got you covered there because you get all of that in one subscription that covers 10 devices. So you're going out and you just got your laptop, your phone, your tablet, all those gifts for the family. You're set for all of those works on Android, on iOS, on PCs, on Macs, tablets, laptops, you get the idea. You're going to be covered there. So yes, it is indeed antivirus protection, which is important. But on top of that, it is also a password manager. They have a VPN built in as well to keep you safe when you're traveling, perhaps back from the holidays and so on, or going back to work and all that sort of thing. And there's also child monitoring software to keep your kids safe from dubious sites. So be sure to get premium security suite and use my link in the description to save. And now back to our video. So yeah, I mean, you either get why you might want one of these or you don't need one of these at all. Obviously, it's a lot smaller than carrying a laptop with you, but obviously there is no screen attached. There are a bunch of peripherals in their ecosystem, some to be made, some exist now, that will make it more of a complete system. But the idea with one of these is you plug it into a keyboard, a mouse, and a monitor anywhere you need. And they have a docking station. Say you do think you want to take it somewhere, but most of the time you're going to be using it in one location. Work home, whatever it is, school, and you're going to go home to your parents, you know. So you have the dock that adds a whole bunch of more ports on it, but you can still pick it up, carry it with you, literally stick it in your pocket and take it someplace else, just stick it into any keyboard mouse monitor and boom, you're ready to go and start computing. The horsepower in this is Intel based and you can get Windows 11 with it, by the way. And it is Intel 13th generation's P series processors. So those are the more powerful series of processors that you see in Ultrabooks. Not as powerful as a gaming laptop or a true mobile workstation with a 45 watt processor. This is a 28 watt family processor and you can get it with a Core i5 or a Core i7. So two configurations, 799 gets you the Core i5 with 16 gigs of RAM. The RAM is soldered on, it's DDR5, 5400 megahertz and a 512 gig PCIe4 SSD. Or if you want more horsepower and storage and RAM and all that sort of stuff for 1099, you can get the Core i7 model, which gives you 32 gigs of RAM. That should be enough for most anybody for this class of PC and a one terabyte SSD. Now the SSD is upgradable. You can undo four screws. You'll have to take off the rubber strips on the bottom to do it, to take off the boot SSD. But underneath the magnetic cover there, you just poke where the little slot is and it pops open. I, there's another 2230 slot M.2. So you could actually just add the storage instead of removing the boot drive at all if you want it. But RAM is soldered on with this, no surprise. Where would there be room for RAM slots with this, right? When Intel did, did that with NUX and stuff, those were bigger form factor models. You have Intel integrated graphics here. Obviously there's no space for a dedicated GPU in this tiny thing, is there? Uh, but they are working on an eGPU box that will connect using their, God, us, the mind connector they call it. So that's a fast PCIe A lane connector there that will connect directly to an eGPU. That eGPU is going to be about $1,000. It's going to have an NVIDIA RTX 4060 in it, and it will add ports, including Thunderbolt 3. Oddly enough, this has a USB-C port, uh, 10 gigabit, but it is not Thunderbolt 3 on this device itself. That is a weird thing. I don't know why. Anyway, uses the fast connector, but the eGPU is going to be $999. I don't know, a little expensive for a 4060, and I leave it up to you to decide. And since it doesn't have Thunderbolt, you sound like you can use somebody else's eGPU, and that's a hurt. 
So that dock is available now, unlike the eGPU that won't be coming until June of this year. And the dock is 179. Front, ver front of it has a full-size SD card slot, a headphone jack, nine ports on the back, and including Ethernet, but still no Thunderbolt on here. But it's a nice little magnetic connector, uses the mine connector, so it's very easy, very nice looking thing if you're into that. Also adds a fingerprint scanner and a volume control knob, so it reminds me of a Logitech keyboard. Now, another device that they showed is the Mind X Play, and there's not even an ETA on this. So this is basically a display with a battery. So sort of like turning into a Windows PC tablet. It doesn't have a keyboard as far as I know. Uh, no price, no idea of the ETA on that. So the idea is that they want to create a whole ecosystem of Mind Link connector devices, which is neat and tidy for you and makes them a lot of money. The challenge here and how it's different from the other NUC competitors on the market where those are a bit more upgradable internally at times, but also just, you know, you connect any eGPU you want and all that sort of thing is this one is proprietary and that is going to be the hurt. The prices on the high end for these are often premium quality Nook mobile palm top workstation things are not cheap anyway but when you start adding in the fact that you got to use proprietary stuff with it that's probably going to slow some people to say i want to jump on this one however obviously the size is a plus now performance on this is good it's not best of class again to bring up intel and the knock uh, because even though those are tiny too they still have more space inside for cooling this has a fan this has high-tech liquid cooling and stuff inside all that and you will hear the fan by the way it's not egregiously loud but you'll hear it um, there's only so much room for cooling here so it's middle of the road p series intel 13th gen performance on this which is to say it's fine not class leading but that's the price you pay for something that's this incredibly small it comes with a tiny little power adapter and it has a 5.5 watt hour battery not for using it unplugged but for, as a backup battery so you basically you can put it to sleep and carry it with you from one place to another without worrying about it running out of juice they say it can go up to 25 hours in sleep mode so that's the Gadas mine. It's a odd little device in a sea of odd little devices that are very established, like the Intel Nux and the competitors, several of which we have reviewed. If you need a PC, a desktop that you can take anywhere with moderate levels of performance, again, it's not going to be full-blown mobile workstation level like a Dell Precision or something like that, but I... It's powerful enough for what most people need to do for everyday kind of work and then some. Uh, the drawback, like I said, would be the proprietary connector if you want to do things like the eGPU and get your Thunderbolt 3 back. Um, upgradable RAM, no, it doesn't exist, but it comes with ample stuff. But quality and actually a company who is established in this space, you can trust them. Normal BIOS, legal Windows licenses, all that stuff. You definitely you get that with this, even if you've never heard the company. They are legit. I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more cool tech videos and thumbs up if you like this vid.